Hey everyone, I'm Liam Gouldy, and I'm going to show you how to use a computer keyboard on LSDJ or Little Sound DJ for version 4.7.3. Now, first of all, you will need a Nintendo Game Boy with Little Sound DJ, like on a flash cartridge or something. Yeah. And you will have needed to modify your Game Boy to either have a PS2 port or modify the keyboard cable so that it will be a link cable on the end. You can look up that online. There's usually tutorials about that. But anyway, first of all, we need to plug in the keyboard to the Game Boy. So I'll plug that in. Yes. And then turn the Game Boy on. Okay. And this is a flash card, so I gotta select LSDJ. Okay, so now it's opened a blank project. So for this, we need to make a First of all, blank chain, let's just say zero, and I'll press select and write and make a phrase, just a blank phrase, and then you'll have, you don't need to put anything in the phrase. And I'm going to make an instrument, so I'm going to leave that as number one, press B right to change instrument and I'm going to make that number two well number one and for number two I'm going to make that a wave actually no a kit I'll make it a kit and I'll make that the tom for the second part Okay, so we have that, and I'll set number one for that. Number, oh god, number one for the noise channel as well. <coughs> and number one for that. <coughs> so first of all, we're just going to synchronize the keyboard. And to do that, press select up to go to the project screen. Now press start to play, like start playing. And then go to sync. Press select and hold it to the right. Actually, no, not select. Press A and hold A and go to the right, far right to find keyboard. And when you press enter on the keyboard, it will stop playing. So now I can go back to the song screen. And on the keyboard, I'm going to press instrument up, instrument down. Now you'll see there is an I double zero there. That means instrument zero for the keyboard. So now when I press enter, the keyboard should start working. So enter. And I'll just start playing on the keyboard. Using the white and black keys that I have decorated on this keyboard, otherwise it's just the Q is probably the first button you could press. So, yeah. Yes, so that works. And you can change instruments and octaves on the move using the function keys. So I'll start that again. I'll play that instrument. And I can mute it. I can change the instrument up. I can change the octaves.
Okay. And that's just playing on the keyboard, simply. And the keyboard will also allow you to change between screens. So if I press 6 on the numpad, it will move to the next screen. And I can use the arrow keys to choose between options. So I'm going to go to chain and write the drum track. So yes. Except you still kind of need to write use these sometimes. So if I change the instrument to drums, I can write a drum track. Yes. So you can kind of work out what you want to play first. So I do a simple thing like that. Actually now, I'll change it a little bit more. A drum track just using the keyboard and now I can use that to play a song on the song screen so yes I'll arm the keyboard and let's go with that and here's a song Lost Woods <laughs> 